next problem example 1.11 this is 5 mark question the test is equal to set of all 1 comma 2 comma 3 and the row equal to set of all 1 1 1 2 2 2 1 3 3 1 there are four questions question number one is row reflexive second one is row symmetric third one is row transitive fourth one is row and equivalence relation already we know that the definitions then apply here Solution number one is row reflexive. The answer is no. Because reflexive means a comma a belongs to R. That is 3 comma 3 belongs to row. Here 3 comma 3 is not. Because 3 comma 3 does not belongs to row. He is enough to include 3 comma 3 to row. So as to make it reflexive. Clear? Second is row symmetric. Here the answer is no. Symmetric means a comma b belongs to r then b comma a also belongs to r here 1 comma 2 belongs to a row then 2 comma 1 is here not therefore because 1 comma 2 belongs to row but 2 comma 1 does not belongs to row it is enough to include the pair 2 comma 1 to row next one is so as to make it symmetric third question is row transitive Transitive means a comma b, b comma c belongs to row, then a comma c is belongs to row. Here the answer is no because 3 comma 1, 1 comma 3 belongs to row. Cancelling 1, we get 3 comma 3. Here 3 comma 3 is not. Therefore 3 comma 3 does not belongs to row. To make it transitive, we have to include 3 comma 3 in row. Similarly, Take 3 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 cancelling 1 we get 3 comma 2 here 3 comma 2 does not belongs to row. Fourth one this row is equivalence relation. The answer is no. To make row is equivalence relation we have to include all these pairs that is set of all 1 1 2 2 3 3 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 1 comma 3 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 which implies this relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Therefore, it is an equivalence relation.